the most important thing in my life at the moment is recovering from a stroke. I was born in Hobart, Tasmania, lived in the country, and grew up in uh, the Huon area and uh, was sent to high school in Hobart. Didn't cope very well with that. <laughs> I was used to being a bush boy. Um, my early life I was a fisherman and then I became an ab diver and uh, I died dived for quite a few years, must have been over 20, and um, then um, retired from that and I was trading shares successfully until I had a stroke. And uh, after the stroke, my memory has failed me, so uh, I don't know a lot since then. My second wife has been a, a lovely tower of strength and support. and. Uh, that's why we're back here. Her family comes from here. And after I had the stroke, she thought it'd be better if we had family support around us. And that's worked out well. I was enjoying everything because I like doing things on my own. And trading shares is a solitary profession. And, uh, but I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it went pear-shaped after the stroke. I think you have to take a positive approach and I've still got a lot that works for me. My, the stroke didn't affect my right side, which I'm naturally right-handed, so I've got my natural side is still pretty good. And um, my left side, I can't use it much, but it doesn't detract. It, uh, I can still walk, I can still use the left hand uh, a bit, left arm a bit, so things could be a lot worse. I grew up in a closed community and I had to broaden my outlook and uh, I did that by travelling, just looking at different ways of doing things, different ways of thinking and it helps you to live a better life.